The garage door was down, but this SUV was still running. So I thought, what is that noise? So when I opened up the door, the car had been running and the fumes were just so strong, the heat in, in the garage. Sandy Esper made a potentially fatal mistake last week that could have killed her entire family. I feel horrible. I do. I feel I've, I've gone through it over and over in my head. How could I not hear it running? You know, and I don't know how I didn't hear it running. The Peoria mom accidentally left her Ford Expedition running in the garage overnight and went to bed. In the morning, Esper and her four children were feeling sick and they didn't know why. The whole room was spinning and everything got really dizzy. And then that's when my legs, I could feel, were going to give out on me. Um, and I was just like praying that I could just make it to the front door to get out. My five-year-old, when I tried to get him up, he got off his top bunk and he just like collapsed. It's, it was almost like he was, his legs were just like given out on him. All of the kids were rushed to the hospital with symptoms consistent with carbon monoxide poisoning. They're all expected to be okay, but Esper knows this could have had a much different outcome. After a family of four was found dead in a cabin near Flagstaff on New Year's Day from exposure to CO2. During the day, uh, you feel those symptoms. When you're sleeping at night, uh, depending on the level of carbon monoxide, that's when it can be fatal. The family did not have a CO2 alarm in their home, but they do now. I would encourage everybody to go and get one. I mean, it cost me $22 to go and get it. Just plug it in the wall. You know, it's a matter of saving your life.